hello this is uh, my third video titled screwing colonoscopy and I'm giving a personal advice from an experience going through a colonoscopy at Stanford Hospital and the clinic where the uh, director of endoscopy <coughs> Dr. Benerji <coughs> have uh, an instruction to all the hospital departments uh, in the and the clinics to refer to him every 50 years old man or woman that has the bad luck to go to this hospital and they refer him to this so-called Benergy in the colonoscopy clinic. This is what Dr. Kuber uh, did to me and he said uh, if he didn't do that uh, he might be punished by uh, accusing him of malpractice. Uh, so they force uh, this colonoscopy on people whether they like it or not. As I said, there is seven reasons not to go through colonoscopy unless you have clinical symptoms of the disease or you are positive to occult blood, DNA, or family history. First, the preparation for colonoscopy. You know that the federal government had uh, warning that uh, phosphates that is used for uh, cleaning the colon prior to colonoscopy can cause uh, nephritis and renal failure. Uh, it is a kidney toxicity and there is thousand, more than 30,000 people lost their kidneys due to colonoscopy preparation. Uh, this is something I would like you to take in your consideration. Uh, since they start uh, forcing colonoscopy uh, year 2000 and especially after Medicare start paying for this uh, procedure. Uh, there is thousands of people with renal terminal stages of kidney from colonoscopy liberation. Also by cleaning completely the colon like this which is not a normal uh, physiological uh, environment for the colon it uh, can also cause uh, uh, nerve damage beside the inflammation caused by the scope through the colon and this uh, leads to infiltration of fatty cells in the mesocolon and the development of cancer as a result of colonoscopy. And there is uh, about 1,500 people uh, every week from uh, a colonoscopy that uh, develop uh, this condition. Uh, remember that uh, in a big hospital, uh, in big hospital like Kaiser and Stanford and this, where they force people uh, and they scare them to go to a colonoscopy, uh, the number uh, for uh, complication from preparation of colonoscopy is huge and in the long run it could count into millions. Then we go to the anesthesia, unless you are absolutely uh, need uh, surgery, uh, the anesthesia and all the side effects of anesthesia uh, with thrombosis and uh, interference 
cardiovascular and the lungs and all of this stuff. So this is also a condition uh, that might cause you uh, side effects that might kill you from the anesthesia. Then we go to the mechanical action of putting this scope into your colon and the friction and the inflammation this scope causes in your colon and this can cause severe uh, inflammation and ulcers and uh, diverticulosis, diverticulitis and uh, irritable bowel syndrome and irritable bowel disease and there's a number of those uh, complications are in hundreds of thousands and unfortunately the end result of this complication is death so uh, most people uh, with diverticulitis and especially acute diverticulitis where the large intestine pouch out form ulcer and uh, kill you uh, this is during immediately there is complication during the colonoscopy and then after the colonoscopy uh, and most of them also related to disturbance in the physiology and the anatomy of the colon and the hemorrhoids and all of this stuff so there is so many complications from different uh, areas of the colonoscopy uh, if you do not have uh, acute kidney failure from preparation, if you don't have heart and lung disease from the anesthesia, if you don't have immediate perforation, and uh, perforation, and I don't trust those GI doctors earning billions of dollars from uh, this technique, they said it is from 1 to 2 percent. Even 1 or 2 percent perforation and the pieces go to the abdominal area and of course peritonitis and the death is too much 1 to 2 percent of 14 million of colonoscope done this year so please help us help you to put and write your congressman write to the senator write to the white house raise your voice it is your dad your mom or yourself that those doctors are killing to earn the money out of them stop screening colonoscopy please join me to deprive this doctor from all this money and to keep our senior living happy life healthy life without complication thank you See you next time.